moment, fight fans everywhere have been winning. Championship belt valued at a quarter of a million dollars American and making his way to the ring first. Fight fans, actually, everybody, pretty much everybody thought in the States this was going to happen. No Kara against Pedro again. So it was not a big surprise, as you already stated. But now that we have reached the floor with Sergei Haratonov. Yep, and again, I will say you are highly paced. More fighting punches, kicks, knees, and the groundwork. Don't forget anything. I mean, he threw a lot of energy out, and he's going to feel that now when he's walking through the have a bag of new tricks up his sleeve. Because otherwise, it's going to look like the last time they were facing each other. When people think really no other heavyweight fighter in MMA has his submission skills, although Emelianenko will definitely test those skills tonight. Yeah, very good, very familiar with submissions, all the submissions, because of course he is the same as his brother, the Sam kind of his striking dramatically improved since last time. Nogueira became Pride's first heavyweight champion by winning a scintillating decision over Heath Herring at Pride 17 as you take a look at the over 47,000 in attendance who await this, the championship match of the most prestigious tournament in MMA history. And of course, Nogueira lost his championship to Fyodor Emelianenko via unanimous decision at Pride 25. With all those history, Beautiful belt that awaits the winner. Here we go again. My song. Three times in one night. Man, I'm a happy person. Emelianenko. One of the hardest. It was back in Pride 25 where he became the heavyweight champion. And in this tournament, he began by defeating the two. He took care of Coleman's teammate, Kevin Randleman. And now he needs to beat Noguera to win another title. Noguera, he began the tournament with a very tough fight against Hirotaka Yokoi, who yep. served notice that he is going to be a force to be reckoned with. After that, he eliminated Heath. Look at the special effects here. So, boss, what do you think this... Wow, it's very difficult to say. The key to victory from Noguera is to box more than he did last time because in the fight against Haritanov, his boxing skills looked really good. And I think he should capitalize on that. He should use it against Fedor Emelianenko because I think that's the key to victory. Once he takes him down, he needs to make sure that he's going to end on... He says that this tournament is the most important event in his life. He's done lots of cardio for this fight in the best shape of his career. And he says that this good accomplishment all on its own. Yeah, but you know, the Brazilian top team, those are guys, they're sitting there watching tapes and they will go back to their fight, what they, what went wrong? What can we do to improve? So for sure that he has a new few tricks up his sleeve, although he's not wearing anything. Comes from both Brazil and Russia now, moments before the championship match. Just heard the Brazilian national anthem. The record crowd of 47,629 at the Saitama Super Arena are waiting now with bated breath to see the outcome of the championship match in this the 2004 Pride Grand Prix heavyweight tournament between Antonio Rodrigo Nogueira and Fyodor Emelianenko. 6'3", 225 pounds, 12 and 1 in Pride. 
Emelianenko's 27, 6'1", 232 pounds, undefeated at 8 and 0 in pride. Of course, Noguera's only loss coming at the hands of Emelianenko. He'll want to gain revenge tonight. And of course, more importantly, win that championship belt valued at a quarter of a million dollars American. 16 fighters. Vidak. Noguera. Emelianenko able to escape. Like I said, he escapes in the 10th guard. Guerra trying to sweep, escape the bottom. But you can see, as you say, the great balance being exhibited here by Emelianenko. Yeah, what he tried to do there was exactly the same as Murillo Bustamante did. Oh, no, he did it actually in a, against Haritanov. He used the same escape, only now it didn't work. That was it. Look, a high guard. Options available to Noguera, but of course against Emelianenko we saw him escape every submission attempt in their first meeting. Yeah, he's going to pass that right arm. It looks like that. You know, she's here. Here we go. Look, look like it already. He's doing now. Nope. There's a nice left right there delivered by Emelianenko, but now he's cut in a triangle Whoa. position, able to break that. Yeah. Don't make a mistake here, and especially in the beginning of the fight. They're not sweating right now. Everything is a little bit more tight. You bring up a good point. Uh, a submission specialist like Noguera, perhaps now is the time to go for those submissions when Emelianenko is still rather dry. Yep. Oh, and again, right away for a triangle he went there. And so far it is reminiscent of their earlier bout, the championship match, where Emelianenko was able to be in the guard but escape all of Noguera's submission attempts and now Noguera looking to just Noguera is doing a really good job he's doing a better job than he did in the first time when they were meeting when they met I'm sorry probably do my uh, English wow Four seconds to dispose of Naoya Ogawa we'll see if that will indeed play a factor as this fight progresses there's a nice right Noguera is non-stop looking for a submission Emelianenko standing with a kick to the left leg and now a right hand through the guard. Here he has a leg. He could go for a leg like instead just trying to close the gap again, boss. And again, we're talking about a former Sambo champion in Emelianenko. Yeah, both of them, they possess real good submission skills. Whoa. Yeah. See, with Noguera, the feet on the hips of Emelianenko. He's going to go with the up kick now to the face. You watch. Oh. And again, Emelianenko able to sneak through with that right hand. Yep. I thought he was going for a sweep there. He but was. again, with the positioning and the balance of Emelianenko, that is going to be an exercise in futility. Yep. Now he can't. Fedor is cut. Oh, Emelianenko, badly. Oh. Unbelievable. And you can see the excitement in the corner of the Brazilian top team. They see the blood, boss. Whoa, that's a big cut. It's a big cut. That's a cut. huge gas. Oh, my. It's not all the way through, though, I think. I don't know what the doctor is going to Let's decide. Let's take a look at the replay here, boss. Yeah, it was that up kick. Oh, it might have been the butts. The it might have been the clashing of the heads. Even. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It looks like that. And that's Whoa, what it is, yeah, boss. That's what it is. Oh, that will be wow. too bad. We don't want to see. That will be a no contest. I a think. tournament of this stature no. end like this, as you see Sergey Heratonov looking on. Oh my God! A clashing of the heads, yes. and now moments of consternation here. Everyone awaits. What? The decision will be here, as you can see, the cut over the right eye of Emelianenko. And my goodness, with so much at stake, it's been a tremendous tournament. We don't want to have a premature result. You know, those people behind the camera and who are sitting there in the editing room, they sure have an eye. You know Emelianenko will not capitulate, that's for sure. If this fight is going to be stopped, it will be because of a medical doctor trainer saying that he is not able to compete or not safely able to compete and let's take a look again boss yep 
Nice right hand. Boom. Yeah, that's it. And you see it. Yep. Wow, that they picked it up again so fast. Good for them. You hear someone yelling out super glue with so much at stake. It might be a desperate measure, but that may be the uh, the route to take here. That was Mark Coleman who yelled that out. Of course, all of the fighters who participated in the tournament, all of them want to see a definitive conclusion. The fans here at Saitama Super Arena and at home definitely want to see this and the way it's supposed to, either by submission, knockout, or decision. And you know they're probably going to take as long as possible. You see a meeting here now. Uh, Mario Sperry discussing things with Mr. Saki Kabara, the president of Pride Fighting Championships. Discussions being held everywhere. Noguera. You know what, Mark Holman, uh, that idea was not that bad, you know. Put some super glue on it. I mean, huh? And I, I, I agree. I mean, do what you have to do. There's, this is the final of the biggest tournament in the world. You can always... The fans want this fight to continue. Yep, you can always stop it later on. Try it at least. And then if it goes open again, you say, okay, that's it. But at least we tried. The, the cut is not all the way through to the skull. And now we find... Well, showcase your skills, try your stuff in front of the likes of El Wapo Bas Rutten. And what exactly will... Uh... Be everything, and then when you come and you be prepared for anything, then you will find out there what are we going to do, <laughs> what are we going to do with you. Oh, man. Because it's all a big surprise, of course. We can't tell because otherwise people are going to train for it or something. No, it's a big surprise. It's not what people think it is, but it's going gonna, it's gonna to be a lot of fun. That's one thing for sure. And we are, like you said, we are scouting for good fighters who want to compete in the Pride Fighting Championships. So um, if you think you're up to it, pridefc.com. Go there on the website, pridefc.com, and they will tell you all about this. Our next pay-per-view will be October 31st, Halloween night already set. Is the Pride Middleweight Championship between Quinton Jackson and Vanderlei Silva, a rematch from the final a Final Conflict 2003. <laughs> What exactly is going to happen? And really, boss, uh, how much longer can we wait? I mean, I know there are discussions being held right in front of us involving Pride officials, members of Brazilian top team, and the Red Devil Sport Club. But for the fighters, Noguera and Emelianenko, you don't want to see it end like this. No, you don't. But hey, things again, happen. Things happen, and um, it's for both of them not good right now. So I'm just very... Um, you know, I'm, I just wonder what the outcome is going to be. If they're going to stop it right now, what are they going to stop it? How are they going to stop it? Is Noguera going well, to be the winner? It's going to no, be no we've just, yeah, I yeah. think, it, uh, I think we so have good. to talk about that because it is, I think, uh, even in the rule. Whoa, this is too bad. Yeah. Decision. And I think... They pretty much have a decision right now. Yep, the uh, like. Pride officials have uh, broken up the conversation with Brazilian top team, and I do believe we're just moments away from finding out what they are going to do about this unfortunate incident in the main event of Final Conflict 2004. And that this unfortunate cut may bring about a quick conclusion to Final Conflict's main event. Case it will be the unfinal conflict, but again, I, I have no doubts. Look at Noguera now talking to his corner. I wonder if he's pleading his case that, he, like you said, that Noguera, uh, Emelianenko headbutted him accidentally, whatever caused the cut, and that he should be ruled the winner. I don't know if he'd want to win like this, however. Yeah, nobody wants to win like this, but well, the others and, say what happens. You know what? What else is at stake in addition to that? Uh, Beautiful belt valued at $250,000 American. There's a $200,000 purse. Hangs in the balance, and hopefully we will hear from an official soon and find out just exactly what is going to happen here. It looks like here we go. And we're waiting to see what that section says. Translation, unfortunately, and there you can see it, my goodness, it reminds me 
Reminds me of uh, the uh, Vitor Belfort, Marvin Eastman fight in UFC where uh, Belfort caught him with yeah. and the uh, deep cash over the right eye of Fyodor Emelianenko. An unfortunate turn of events here. Very upset, you can see. Both fighters, Emelianenko and Nogueira and Boss. An unbelievable turn of events, but sometimes this... どうぞ、納得していただけるよう、よろしくお願いします。